Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to make a quick video about something I've been seeing a lot today. Especially how we're all cooped up inside. We're stuck with uh, people we're not used to being stuck with. Where uh, Our environments have changed and we're all just stuck with our own selves right now. So a lot of things are coming up internally for us. Um, but what, what I've been seeing a lot of is uh, people posting a video or a photo of them holding a glass of wine, a beer, maybe a joint, um, a pizza, junk food, um, a bunch of sweets uh, with the caption, hashtag, uh, treat yourself, self-love, um, self-care, uh, things of that nature. And I think that's to totally okay as long as you can keep it within uh, the parameters of what you're advertising and that being the one beer you're showing in the photo, the half a glass of wine, the pizza, you know, they're nice things to enjoy. They really are. But way too often, and I've done this in the past, uh, specifically with alcohol, I would send a picture to a friend where I'd post it on uh, social media, of the beer or the glass of wine I'm having, and I'd say, you know, kicking kicking back, relaxing, long day, treating myself. Well, I didn't even know what a long day was in the past. I don't even know what hard work truly is, to be honest, um, compared to like what some people really have to put up with. Uh, but I was still using that as an excuse to um, indulge in like a glass of wine or a beer. Okay, that's fine. Um, but the most important thing I'm trying to advertise and put into the video is what I was doing afterwards. I would have to finish a second uh, can of beer, a third can of beer. You know, you always see um, people in the bathtub enjoying the glass of wine and it looks really romantic. It looks really cozy. Um, but far too often, if I ever done that in the past myself, the bottle of wine is right next to the bathtub. And after I advertised, you know, this self-care practice, well, I'm finishing the rest of the bottle of wine and I'm potentially already cracking up a second one after all is said and done. So I think it's really important to be monitoring ourselves and our self-care, self-love practices. How are we treating ourselves? Are we overindulging on the things that we're uh, treating ourselves with? Why are we doing it? Um, for me, it was nine out of 10 times after I, I texted someone, I'm just having a beer, I'm relaxing. Nine out of 10 times, I would have to open up another beer and another beer. And a good way to uh, monitor like what are good self-care practices is like what's beneficial to your, your mind, body, and soul. How are you waking up? How are you feeling when you're waking up? Is your body screaming at you like, what on earth are you doing to me? And so often I'd be waking up hungover, uh, my, my minor headache at least, um, digestive issues, personality issues. Uh, my relationships were starting to go um, downhill. And um, yeah, this is all just kind of stemming from uh, the excuse I was giving myself to give myself a little bit of a, a break a little self-love practice, you know, self-care. And it was starting with the one beer, the one glass of wine, um, alcohol for me specifically. Um, so I thought that was really important to uh, shine a light on because I'm seeing a lot of people post a video, a video, a photo, just an image in general of uh, ways they're partaking in these practices right now. And that's totally okay as long as we're we're monitor monitoring the intake of those things and those substances, you know, because for me, it was always an excuse. It was, I was always going down a dark path, dark hole, a rabbit hole. Then before you know it, it's 2, 3 a.m. I just had another shot and I'm by myself. And I said, what on earth is going on? What am I doing? And it was a cycle. It was a pattern and it became a habit. And, uh, I think this is a very important video because we're all just home alone or stuck alone in, our, in, in these environments. People we're not necessarily um, used to being stuck with. And so we're being f um, forced to face our, our demons, our thoughts, our emotions. So yeah, I uh, hope that made some sense. I hope we're all practicing some safe self-love, self-care practices. And I love you all. Take care.